Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, JLD Reactions. Today, we're going to be reacting to Doctor Who episode season one. Sorry, Doctor Who episode season one, episode six called Dalek. Now, last week, what was it about? Oh, last week, it was about the alien invasion by those big... I don't know what you want to call them. I can't remember what their race was called, but the big blobby green aliens... Um, that go to people's countries, I mean, they go to, um, basically they wanted to nuke planet Earth so they could come in and take all the minerals and everything off the planet after everybody was dead and gone, you know. Okay, so, it was actually a pretty good episode, I really enjoyed it. Um, I still don't buy that they wouldn't have died in that bombing, but okay, whatever. Okay, guys, so let's see. Let's get started with this episode. And before we start, please, please, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can know when I have up new videos. Was that obnoxious? Okay, let's get started. I don't know. Some kind of signal drawing the TARDIS off course. Where are we? Earth, Utah, North America. About half a mile underground. And... When are we? Mm -hmm. 2012. God, that's so close. I should be 26. I want to collect an aliens. That makes you exhibit A. Pinion, you're fired. Get rid of him. What? Wipe his memory. Go <laughs> on the road someplace. Memphis. Memphis. Oh, Somewhere beginning with M. So, Ugh. the next president, what do you think? Republican or Democrat? Democrat, sir. For what reason? Oh, God, I love this. I'm I'm into this stuff like the Illuminati conspiracy theories. I actually wrote a script. I have a feature script written. Well, I can't tell you too much yet. It's copyright though. But um, I actually have a written script. Um, I'm, I'm gonna try to sell it pretty soon. But um, blah blah blah. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. So this is I'm probably gonna enjoy this episode. Let's see. We're supposedly be we're supposedly being controlled by reptoid beings. Just so you know. They're just so funny, sir. What is your name? Goddard, sir. Diana Goddard. Oh, she sounds. Thank you, Diana Goddard. She sounds so Irish. <laughs> is she supposed to be American? So where's the English kid? Sir, sir. I bought ten more artifacts at auction, Mr. Van Staten. Bring them on. Let me see them. Uh, sir, with respect, there's something more urgent. We arrested two intruders 53 floors down. We don't know how they got in. I'll tell you how they got in. Intruder window. Intruder window, that was funny. <laughs> Bring them in. Let's see them. And tell Simmons I want to visit my little pet. Get to it. Simmons, you better give me good news. Is it talking? His accent's good. No, just looks silly. Huh? Did I miss something? You just need to be delicate. Door until we get a result. I've come to help. I'm the doctor. Da, da. Impossible. That's irritating. Exterminate! Exterminate! Huh? Who is that? It's gonna kill him. Is that robot from the original series? From the older ones? Or is that something new they just came up with? is dead. You all burn, all of you. Ten million ships on fire. The entire Dalek race wiped out in one second. You lie! I watched it happen. I made it happen! You destroyed Ooh. us! So, Dalek's people are the people who exterminated his people the time... What were they called? Time... Time changers, time manipulators, I can't remember. Time travelers, I don't remember. 
And so he went and destroyed his people? Ooh. He's more evil than I thought. Well, they are robots. They don't have souls, right? Good. It doesn't do much. The alien. It's weird. It's kind of useless. It's just like this great big pepper pot. Where's the doctor? It's a robot. Just battle armor, the real Dalek creatures inside. What does it look like? A nightmare. It's a mutation. The Dalek race was genetically engineered. Every single emotion oh. was removed except hate. Genetically engineered. Oh, okay. Cool. By a genius man, Stan. Okay, man we'll be... king of his own little world. You'd like him. It's been on Earth for over 50 years. Genetically engineered, then that means genes, so obviously there's some type of connection with DNA. So yeah, it is a living thing, I suppose. Sold a private auction, moving from one collection to another. What? <laughs> Listen to me, that thing downstairs is going to kill every last one of us. Nothing can escape the cage. But it's woken up, it knows I'm here, it's going to get out. Von Stat, I swear, no one on this base is safe. No one on this planet. Paul ah! ah! is dead. I He's... shall die alone. Mm -mm. He's gonna trick her and then she's gonna do something stupid like, I'm gonna die him! Or some shit. And then he's gonna get out. He's faking it. Look at her! Rose, no! Condented material extrapolated <laughs> in the shield cellular reconstruction! What'd I tell you? Rose! <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta be dramatic sometimes, because, I mean, really? Rose? Really? That thing could be infected with all types of alien bacteria. That sounds really xenophobic. But that was right. What the hell have you done? Look at a mosquito. Uh-oh. Done it. We've got power to the bulkheads. Dalek's right behind them. We need that give us two seconds. Doctor, I can't sustain the power. The whole system is failing. Doctor, you've got to close the bulkheads. Well, I mean... Rose touched them. It's kind of Rose's fault. And they have to think about the whole city of Utah. A million people will die. I mean... Sorry, Rose, you have to be sacrificed for the good of humanity. And I love Rose, but she did touch the robot. She touched the dialogue. It's her fault this is all happening. So it's only fair that she should sacrifice herself. Am I off on that? Is that... I, I don't know. I'm sorry. That's what I would do. Mr. Van Staten tends to dispose of his staff, and when he does, he wipes the memory. I kept this stuff in case I needed to fight my way out one day. What, you in a fight? I'd like to see that. I could do. What are you going to do? Throw your A-levels at him? Oh, yes. Lock and load. Made it. Ugh. Is that I? Get out of the way. 
Rose, get out of the way now! No, because I won't let you do this. Oh, shoot her! No, I'm just kidding. It's not the one pointing the gun at me. I've got to do this. He's killed it. hundreds of people and he's going to kill millions more. And how many millions of people has he already killed? No. He's got to go. I know. I know a lot of people are going to be like, but this can't be the punishment. No, guys. He's killed a lot of people. He's... I'm sorry, but in this situation, he's just way too dangerous. He must be destroyed. I'm sorry, but he just, he has to. He's done too much. Now, if he had a clean track record, yeah. But he doesn't have a clean track record. He's too much of a risk. Ugh. Gross. He's like a big glob of brain and eyeball. The Daleks destroyed my home, my people. I've got well, nothing left. Look at it. Please. What's it doing? Brighton. Rose. Tyler. I can't look at it. Yeah. So am I. Okay, so we're supposed to feel bad for it? I don't. What the hell are you doing? 200 personnel dead, and all because of you, sir. Hmm. I don't know. A slight part of me kind of want to take pity on the dialect. Like, 5% of me. But the other 95% is like... It's killed hundreds of people. And you can say, yeah, it was in their defense, but he killed people before that. And then you can say, oh, well, the doctor killed people. And the doctor did kill people, but he was doing it out of defense because the dialects were bred to kill. Doctor, what are you doing standing inside a box? Rose? Oh, they're leaving him? Oh. They're taking him? The fourth great and bountiful human empire. What? At its height. So they got a new cast member? I don't want to watch because I don't want to spoil it for myself. So what? They got a new cast member now? Wow. Okay. Um, that was Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 6 called Dalek. And that was a very good episode. I really enjoyed the episode. Actually, I would have to say that's the best episode they've had so far. Yeah, definitely the best episode out of all of them. And it makes me want to give this episode a 9. And it kind of makes me want to lower the score of some other episodes. Is that bad if I want to lower scores? You know, sometimes when you rewatch something or really think about something, you kind of want to lower it. Some you might want to raise, some you might want to lower. But, um... That episode was really good. It really got me in thought. Like, hmm. Should the dialect live and then I kept relating it to well you know am I being prejudiced I mean and then there's like this you can relate this to real life because of like terrorism in real life and how we're trained to believe that terrorists are these like bred for hate beings like dialects and maybe dialects really aren't that maybe that was just the doctor's interpretation of them And, you know, the doctor did kill off 10 million people. I meant 10 million dialects. And maybe some of those dialects were innocent. Didn't do anything. You know? So that was really, that was a, that was an interesting episode. It definitely got me thinking. I want to, I want to be just like, ah, get rid of the dialogue. But then I keep thinking like, well, you know, when you relate it to real life, it's like we do the exact same thing in real life. So I was like, eh. That was a tough one. The pacing was great. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the British actors. I thought that tall, skinny girl with the curly hair who looked like 
Christina Ricci. I thought she was really cute, and I really enjoyed her acting. Even though her accent was kind of weird. <laughs> she sounded like she was, like, Dutch or something sometimes. I was like, that's not, a, that's not an American accent. That's, like, Dutch. She'd be like, yes, we're going to the beauty ring. I'm like, no. But, but anyway... <laughs> I mean, to a, to a regular British person, they probably can't tell the difference, but to a Native American or United Statesian, whatever you want to call us, we can hear that she, yeah, she definitely had an accent. Um, it got less as the story went on, though, it seemed like. In some parts, it was less, but in some parts, it was really noticeable. Uh, but that's okay, because if you watch Angel, Angel, David Boreanaz, love David Boreanaz, but he does a shitty Irish accent. <laughs> that's just, you know, but... I'm not going to throw the whole show away just because of a bad accent, you know. Um, and accents are hard to do. So, yeah, that episode was great. As of now, I'm giving it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. I enjoyed it. And I'm really curious to see what's going to happen next week. I'm really enjoying the show. I, um, I really want to see... How they're going to incorporate that new boy. Is he just going to be in a couple episodes and then get left somewhere or die off? Because I noticed they don't have the mom and the other boyfriend on the show that much. So they're probably using the money that they would use to cast him to bring in guest stars. Like her new little boyfriend, whatever his name is. So we'll see how long he lasts. But okay guys, that was a great episode. Um, again, for the fifth time. A nine... Um, thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys later. Please let me know what you think. Should the Dalek have survived? I mean, I thought the ending was great, actually. I thought the ending... The, 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 ugh. When I just think about that Dalek, I just... I don't know, I just want it gone. <sighs> because I'm prejudiced against Daleks. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of that episode. Okay, see you guys next week. Ciao.